All right. So here's how to remove your uh, bolt catch and your mag release. Now, on uh, some VZs, there's this pin here, uh, and it's uh, pointing up. Other times, it's pointing down. Okay, and how I remove it, I usually just you can use the end of a file, just a standard file, anything with like a, you know, sort of a probe, flat probe end. Uh, here it is down here. This is the way I like to ori orient it, and uh, some factories like to do it this way. Uh, other ones like to have it flipped the other direction. I prefer it like this. This is a little more resilient to uh, external debris trying to get into there. But alright, here we go. So you just press on this little guy right here. Let's see if I can show that, show that a little better. Pr I'm going to press on that guy. So I dig the file down into it, press, and it goes down just like that, okay? Roll it over. And I'm going to let's see if I can show that. I'm going to pry up using the same file. Okay, see how it came up. Now I have a, one of my modified uh, mag releases, so it's in the way. I have to pull it out of the way and uh, put the file underneath the little edge of the, uh, the pin here, stabilize it with my thumb, pull up comes right up. Alright. Okay. Then what you do, you find the, the, the pin here, and you push it through. And I think this one can give me a little bit of resistance. Let's see, I'm going to go the other direction. Change one line. The file's not small enough to go in there, so I'm actually just going to use this pin. See if I can push it through doing that that way. There we go. Okay. <laughs> She's fighting me. Normally these things slide out pretty easily. I got an idea. Will be sending me. You're going to hold on to these two springs. These guys right here. And you're going to send me the bolt catch. And this would look something like this. This would be the magazine release. You see how I've made it significantly wider. And here is the bolt release and what it's going to look like. Alright, I'm going to do reassembly. You're going to want to start with uh, the bolt catch side. All right, the spring is right here. Slide it over, and then you don't want to pinch the spring in there. You're going to wiggle it around until you find the right spot. Okay. Now this will try and launch, so you want to be, you want to hold it in place. Slide the pin through. Okay and make sure it's flush on the inside right here so that the magazine release will slide easily in. You get the spring and you place it right in its little cradle right there and then this is going to be a little hard to do in the video but you want to tilt the rifle up so that the, the spring rocks this direction and falls back okay and then you want to find this little spot right here, and press down. I'll uh, gotta do this off camera here. Okay. Now that the the spring has found the the opposite cradle in the um, in the uh, magazine release, 
you can move it back and forth like this without it uh, losing the, the spring. You press down with your thumb like this, and then you want to try and line up the holes. See how it's not lined up? If I press on it, it lines up, and then you press the set pin through right here. And uh, the last little bit could be hard to push. You want it to have it flush, reasonably flush. And then there's the hole for this last little pin. Uh, I like to look down it, get a little bit of light through it, and make sure that the um, the retaining pin here is not uh, too far to the left or too far to the right. I just look down it, looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start this puppy and put it away. Um, also, uh, there's a lot of different, there's 360 degrees to this thing. I like it to have the uh, longest edge facing forward if I can pull that off. Push it home. Then you're done.